Fix it guy, today we're dealing with a whirlpool washing machine that won't spin and it won't drain. And this is a really easy fix. All we're going to do is repair the lid switch by using a couple of zip ties. You could probably get away with using just one. So I just tested the switch with a screwdriver, set it spin. There's no result, so I think the switch has probably fallen apart. So I'm going to unplug it and then I'll do a real quick repair of the switch to try to get it put back into one piece. I'll take a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm just going to remove two screws here that hold the lid switch in place. And then you can grab the whole basket and push it to your right to give you a little bit more room. And You can reach up underneath and just pull the lid switch towards you. Make sure again that it's unplugged. So I'm just going to grab the switch, pull it toward me, and then it'll be pretty easy to fix it. Some switches have a little uh, metal part that you have to remove before putting on the, the two uh, zip ties. So this one does have the metal piece, but yeah. it's pretty easy to fix. You just take a standard head screwdriver and pry off this little metal piece because the metal piece doesn't do any good it doesn't really serve much purpose you don't really need it so I'm just going to pop it off and the switch case has kind of fallen apart into two pieces so it doesn't click anymore and that's because the glue failed so I'm going to use the zip tie to take the place of the glue this will actually make it way stronger than any brand new lid switch you could buy because the new lid switch will have the same problem where the glue fails. So I'm going to wrap around the zip tie. I'll pull it as tight as I can and then I'll use some pliers to pull it even tighter. Then I'll just cut away the excess. So one zip tie will be fine. I like to use two. I put them about maybe a quarter inch apart. Just pulling that tight and again just with my finger strength, but I'll use the pliers to go a little bit further, maybe like two two clicks on the zip tie further. You can feel it as you go a little bit further, it gets tighter. The reason these switches fall apart is the glue just gets old and breaks, or the lid falls so quickly that the little pin on the lid actually breaks the glue. Uh, sometimes the lid will slip out of your hand and just fall too fast. So I'm going to put another one in to make it twice as strong. But some of the YouTube viewers have actually fixed this with other things. If they didn't have the zip tie, a few people just taped it shut, which would work. Somebody used a uh, garbage tie that worked. So anything that will keep the two halves of the lid switch pressed together but a zip tie is super strong, so I think that's the best way to go. And they only cost a couple pennies. Great little invention. So I'm just pulling that second one really tight with pliers. And then I'll use some diagonal pliers. You could use scissors or a razor knife to cut off the excess. And then we just put the switch back into position and we tighten the screws and you're done. And you don't need that many tools and this will only take you probably 15 minutes max. I think in this case it probably took maybe five and a half minutes to get this whole thing done. So we're just zipping in those Phillips head screws. And unless the lid switch is working it won't drain and it won't spin. So this actually gets both of those functions going for you. And these Whirlpool washing machines are great. They can last over 20 years if you take good care of them. But a pretty common thing that breaks is that lid switch. So that's the little pin that can, can break the switch when it falls too fast. Okay, we're going to plug it in, make sure it's going to work. So 
So we'll set it for a spin, pull it out, and I can hear it working, plus you can see the water shooting out. So all the functions are back to normal, and we've got a washing machine that will probably last another 10 years. So thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe when you get a chance.